let's create an asset that generates particles. For that, let's switch to Houdini. We'll begin with a sphere. Command click on the sphere and then drag it up and go to the shelf tools called particles and click on this little button. If I press play, you will see that the particles are generated. Again, if they're going too fast, just click on the clock to see them in real time. Excellent. Stop and rewind. Here is the network that has been created for us. Fantastic. I'm going to call this emitter. To begin with, I'm going to dive into the emitter, delete the sphere tab, and type merge. Select object merge. Change this into this object. And go up. I'm going to create another sphere, so command and sphere. Bring it up here. Let me call this sphere and go to the emitter and connect this to the sphere. Accept. Now you will see that no particles are generated. That's because we need to change one more thing. Go up, go to the auto dot network, press H and L a few times to get things nicely laid out. Select this node here. So let me show you the sphere object source and change this by clicking on this button and let's go to the object merge swap and select it. And now it works properly. Go up and let's do one more thing. Let's go to the rigid bodies and create a ground plane. If I press play now you will see that the particles are bouncing on the floor. Fantastic. This is the main setup I need. Now I want to be able to exchange the sphere for another object and I will create an input. And again I need to prepare all the paths to relative paths so it will work as a digital asset. So one by one double click in here and let's get a bit more space and let's begin. This one needs to become dot dot slash dot dot press enter. Let's move on this side, pop object, nothing here. Let's move here, nothing. Let's move here, we have the floor. Let's change it, dot dot slash dot dot. Enter. Let's select this, nothing, this, nothing, and everything else seems okay. Let's go up, source particles, and you can see we have these paths, dot dot slash dot dot, enter and this one dot dot slash dot dot enter press u to go up sphere we don't need to change anything here and the ground plane object select this and just make sure it's dot dot slash dot dot enter go up let's see if it works if we didn't break anything if we broke something then it won't work everything seems to be fine fantastic we don't need the sphere, so this is going to stay out. Let me go to the emitter object, dive in, get rid of this because we're going to replace it in Cinema 4D. Go up, press H and L a few times to get things nicely laid out again. Delete the sphere and these are the essential nodes. Let's select them all, create our subnet. Let's call this dynamic particles press enter select it right click create digital asset and save it let's type a name dynamic particles press accept and then accept again fantastic let's go to our parameters get rid of the standard parameters we don't need them and now let's expose or promote some of our parameters emitter the object we'll call it emitter and press enter go up and what else do we need to do um, maybe if 
we go to the auto.network, we can define the number of particles. No, I won't even bother. I think we're good to go. I'm going to accept this and let's move to Cinema 4D. In Cinema 4D, let's load the asset dynamic particles open. And as you can see, everything is OK. We have our input. I'll create a sphere, raise it, adjust my view, select the asset, drop the sphere in here, rewind, press play, and there you have it. We have a dynamic particle simulation. Now let's try one more thing. Make my sphere smaller. Right click and add a vibrate tag. Enable position, press play, and you will see that the particles are emitted from the position of the sphere. Now how easy was that? I hope you enjoyed it.